A big night at one of the most famous venues in world football. We're here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And what we have to look forward to is the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. It's Inter facing Milan. Well, the first leg was a really good game, Derek. It had action at both ends, it was an even contest, and it's set up perfectly for this second leg. Hopefully we're not disappointed. And this is how it looks for Inter. Francesco Acerbi plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Romelu Lukaku starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. Here's the Milan team. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Teo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Ismael Benasser in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Dumfries. And they'll be happy to have regained possession. They're really pressing their opponents. Di Marco. Well, very effective play in possession. Lukaku waiting. It's still alive! Well, able to survive that attacking push. Determined defending. Teo Hernandez. They've got it now. What can they do? Well, so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez, not least because he can be so effective. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players. He can go past people with ease. And he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. The referee is given a corner. Let's see about the delivery. Well, not the best clearance. Chalhanolu. And the ball back with Inter here. Acerbi. Lukaku might fancy it, you know. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Ben Asser. Brahim Diaz now. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Brunic. Well, it didn't worry the keeper. Lukaku. Varela has it. A chance maybe from the wide position. 
Mkhitaryan waiting. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. And he gets away with a warning here. In my view, that's good refereeing. Strong, but not officious. Foul it is then. Well, the referee deciding that it didn't warrant a yellow card being handed out. with himself based on that free kick not the execution he was looking for trying to really get at the opposition here Nicky Tari and waiting pretty comfortable piece of defending Space afforded him, and the cross goes in, and a goal! And now they're in control of the situation. Can they see this through? Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. score currently stands at 2-1 Di Marco he's found a pocket of space could cross it in here and he's clear his lines well the referee can't take any chances and now he will receive attention. start the proceedings well if you're wondering about added time two minutes it'll be Vanessa and the referee blows for a foul Di Marco oh great attacking play and it's in as they tighten their grip on the tie well here's the replay watch how he goes past his man with such ease and it's just a change of pace how has he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. Oh, 
And there we have it. The first half comes to an end here at the San Siro. And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Ben Asser. Well, they couldn't keep it. Barella. He could pick out a teammate. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Origi. Going well. Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Well, really closing him down here. Dumfries. And plenty of space for this inter attack. And played in. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. And play halted, free kick given. A very timely interception. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. And a goal kick will be next. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. A super tackle and they've won possession. Hendrik Mkhitaryan and continues his run how about the cross so a goal kick is what's coming up here Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Origi. Surely. And a goal here. They've given themselves a chance, but need one more goal to force extra time. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Well, plenty of goals if you look at the aggregate. 3-2 here. And into the last 20 minutes. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And back to Origi. A gift for any goalkeeper. They do like to press whenever they can. Brozovic. Federico Di Marco. Running with the ball confidently. Into the centre from Mkhitaryan. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Not the best challenge, free kick. And time for the change now. Well, 
out of play and an inter throw in coming up pass from Mickey Tarian not sufficiently accurate Ibrahimovic well a classic example of how to intercept Dumfries no space for them here Lukaku in position a decisive clearance it was Benasser. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Plenty of support here. And totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Well, what a good stop to keep them in this. Well, that would have been game over. Not long left now, though. Over it comes. Not really the ideal clearance. And I think the threat has been averted. And now it is truly final in more ways than one. Inter are going to the final. Well, what a good performance that's been over the two legs. They've really controlled the tie. And if they play like that in the final, they've got every chance of lifting the trophy. Well, it truly was a substantial performance from Lautaro Martinez. Stuart, what caught your eye most of all? Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.